I've been reviewing nothing but brushless hoops lately, so in this video I thought I'd review a brush tiny hoop. This is the B Brain Light, L I T E. Normally when something is a light version, it means it's stripped down or like bare, but not with this thing. This thing is jam packed with features. <laughs> The version I have here is a very early version prototype. The final version won't have this big cap on the back and then the RGB LEDs will both be placed on the bottom of the board. What makes the B Brain Lite special is that it uses an all-in-one board that includes an ESC, FC, receiver, and VTX on a single board. This makes building a tiny hoop so easy. All you have to do is mount the board on the frame, plug in the motors, add props, and you're done. This review is about the B-Brain Lite board, which consists of the board itself, the FC, ESC, receiver, and VTX, not the whole quad. The B-Brain Lite FC uses a F4 processor. It's got a built-in receiver that works with FR Sky and Futaba. The Spectrum version is coming. It runs on Betaflight. It's got brush motor active braking, which is something new on brush motor tiny hoops, and we'll see how that flies later on. It's got a custom newbie drone OSD. It works like beta flight, but it's got some small tweaks, and it's supposed to be 75% more efficient. It's got two RGB programmable LEDs on the bottom of the board. The version I have has LEDs on top and bottom, and you can see the LED colors in your view, so it's a good thing that they move both the the LEDs on the bottom of the board. And it's got a built-in 1 to 25 milliwatt VTX with the ability to change VTX channels via the OSD. The early version B Brain Lite I have just weighs 20 grams. The final version will have a different cooler looking canopy, so it shouldn't weigh that much more because the final version won't have this big cap in the back. The B Brain Lite goes for $79, which consists of the B Brain Lite board, which is the ESC, flight controller, receiver, VTX, camera, and canopy. All you have to do is basically just mount the board on a frame, plug in some motors, add some props, and you're ready to go. 79 bucks sounds like a lot, but let's compare it to a similar build like the Alien Hoop Zero. To get the receiver, ESC, flight controller, VTX, and com camera combo, these prices are based off the Tiny Hoop website. The Alien Hoop Zero board itself is $35 and that's just the flight controller and ESC. And then you have to add a receiver like the XM which is $14 and then you have to add a VTX with camera combo. According to the Tiny Hoop uh, website is $44. So that puts you at $93 for the Alien Hoop Zero without a canopy. The B Brain Lite is $79 for everything and a canopy. Not to mention the B Brain Lite is a much cleaner build. It's really not even a build, more like just a mount because it comes all built. All you do is just mount the board on the frame, plug in your motors, add some props, and you're ready to go. The Alien Hoop, you have to solder on an RX, a VTX, and camera. Building on such a small frame, most Alien Hoop builds are like this, kind of Frankenstein-ish, just cram everything in this tiny frame. I built this thing several times just to make it look cleaner and neater, and I try to put as, mi as little wires as I could in this build just to lighten it up. So I'm basing my experience off this early version of the B-Brain light that I have. Running these 250 milliamp battery packs, I was getting about three and a half minutes of flight times flying in acro. So keep in mind, the version that I have is an early version prototype, so the ability to change the VTX channels via OSD wasn't working on this one, so that's probably why the video looks so bad. The VTX channel probably wasn't even matching my RX channel and my goggles, but I'm sure it'll be fixed in the final version. To be honest, I never really liked flying these little 65 millimeter brush swoops because all the other ones that I've flown have just felt so underpowered that you can't even fly an acro, but not with a B Brain Light. With such a high power to weight ratio, this thing can fly easily in acro and it's fun. Just for comparison, the Alien Hoop Zero build here is 22 grams versus 20 grams for the B Brain Light build. 2 grams doesn't sound like a lot, but on such a tiny quad, 2 grams is 10% of the weight of the quad. This Beta FPV Beta 65S weighs 27 grams, so you pretty much have to fly this thing in a self-leveling mode. 
Flying acro in this thing is just a mess. It's no fun. Being so light, it's really hard to break this frame. I flew this quad into all sorts of stuff and it just bounces off and keeps going. One thing I did notice is that when I flew this in my house, anytime I got close to a wall or a couch, the quad would drift towards the object and get sucked up into the, the object. I guess that's the only real negative about it being so light. It, it tends to drift on the the air coming in through the top and it like gets stuck on stuff like that. If you're looking for a brush tiny hoop, I highly recommend the B-Brain Lite. It's small, light, easy to build, loaded with feature, and tons of fun to fly. I'll put a link in the description below. I think they're available for order now. Two weeks ago, I did a video on the best brushless swoop of 2018. And in that video, I was gonna give away a Beta 75X and a Mobula 7. It's time to pick a winner. Or actually, pick two winners. Since I made that video, both quads got upgrades. The Beta 75X now comes with a 10 amp 4-in-1 ESC, a stronger camera mount, and now it's got a rear programmable RGB LED. The Mobula 7 got a slight upgrade. In the version that I reviewed in the video two weeks ago, it came with four 250 milliamp battery packs. Now they come with four 300 milliamp battery packs. So you get 100 extra milliamp and probably a little bit um, more weight, which is a good thing because it'll probably help smooth out the, the Mobula 7. And both hoops that I'm giving away here are the new versions. So the way I'm going to choose winners for the Mobula 7 and the Beta 75X contest winners is use this website. It's basically a YouTube random comment picker. You just enter in the URL of the video, hit low comments, and it looks like there's about 417 comments. So I know in the video I asked you guys to choose if you wanted the 75X or the Mobula 7. Um, I'm just going to choose two winners. The first winner will get the quad of their choice and then the second winner will get the quad that didn't get chosen in the first one. Um, I hope you're happy with that. <laughs> Alright, so the first winner will be... That's me. I won my own frame. Ha, just kidding. Me again. So KumoCraft, you are the winner of the first quad. You will get to pick whatever quad you want and then uh, hopefully the second winner will get the quad that you didn't pick. Alright, so the second winner will be... That's me. Ha, <sighs> just kidding. Will be Dirty Dog FPV. Alright, so it looks like you want the Beta 75, so hopefully KumoCraft wants the Mobula 7. So thanks to everyone who entered. Both of these quads are available in my store right now, available to ship. I'll put a special coupon code in the description below for my YouTube viewers for 10% uh, off both of these quads. So get them while they last. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that little bell icon to be notified of the next video. Because in that video, I'll be talking about a new frame that I've been working on. And in that video, I'm going to give away another frame.